Now, VO2 is used in a lot of metabolic uh, calculations. So, what if you, for some reason, cannot get a VO2 test done on your client or individual? Then this prediction could be used. Now, what you're going to need for this is obviously male or female. In this particular case, it was a male, so we put one for male, zero for female, so one goes in there. And the age, this person is 40 years old. And their weight, so in this particular case, we're looking at the weight in pounds, and this person was 155 pounds. Now, the other couple of things you're going to need in order to try to predict the VO2 max without doing a test is the body mass index. So you will find the body mass index elsewhere on this site. So you can go and calculate the body mass index before you use this form. This person's body mass index was 28. And the last one is the activity level. Now, we're going to try to be a bit uh, subjective here with the activity level. We're looking at giving a value between 1 and 7. 1 being sedentary and 7 being very, very active. So this is going to affect the VO2 max at the bottom here. So try to get a reasonably accurate account of the person's activity level. Now, for most people, if they're not very fit, they do a desk job, they drive around a lot, and so on and so forth, you're going to be putting in here one or two. And I would be conservative here and, you know, keep it on the lower end, because then that's going to give a better estimation of the VO2. And this particular person, the estimated VO2 here is 32.9, 33 millilitres per kilo per minute. And it would be interesting then to go and do a field test to see how this might compare with an actual submax or max VO2 test.